Hey everyone, I'm Paycakes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clicker game with CV2. This is super easy, and it's a perfect practice for beginners. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so once we're ready, we're going to need to get out our maker pen. To do this, we open up our watch, click on backpack, and click use on the maker pen. Once we open up the maker pen, we are going to go to Palette. We are then going to go and we are going to search for a interaction volume. You want to make sure you get the version 1. We are then going to go and we are going to search for an int variable. Once we have the in variable, we are going to go have to go back into our watch and we're going to search for an add chip. We can place it right there. Once we have the add chip, we are going to go back into our watch and we are going to search for a two string. And we can place it right there. Once we have the two string, we are going to go back into our watch. We're going to search for a string concat a string format can also work with this tutorial but for this video i'm just using the string concat next we are going to need a player show subtitle And can place it right there. Now let's get into the wiring. To do this, you open up your watch, click on tools, and then click on connect. So once we're ready to wire, we're gonna wire on use on the interaction variable to execution on the int variable. We are then gonna wire the integer on the int variable to the sum on the add chip. We're then going to wire in a value on the add chip to the int on the integer bulk. We are then going to wire the int on the integer variable to the two string value. We are then going to wire result on the two string to a, one of the values on the string concat. We are then going to wire the result on the string concat to the subtitle on the player show subtitle. We are then also going to wire player to player that used on the interaction plugin. You are also going to connect the execution on the integer variable to the execution on the player show subtitle. Now we have to go into configure. To do this, you open up your watch, go to tools, and click on configure. We are going to configure the value of the add right here. And you can change it to 1. You can change it to whatever, but I'm going to let leave it set to 1, so every time we click it, it will go add up by 1. If you do 2, it will add up by 2, 3, add up by 3, and so on and so forth. Now we will need to go over here. We are going to configure the value, and I'm going to put clicks. You can put whatever you want, but just for this example, I'm going to put clicks. And for the separator, you can just put a colon. It doesn't really matter. So once we have everything configured and set up, we are going to try it out. As you can see, it goes up every time I click it. But what if you want a cool sound effect to go with it? Well, I'll show you how to do that. So if you want a sound effect, you're going to have to go back into your watch, go to palette, and you're going to need to search for an SFX. And you're going to spawn it in right here. You need to go back into wire, wire to do this. Go to tools and click on connect. And you're going to connect the execution on the player show subtitle to play on the SFX. 
And now we have to configure the SFX to do that. Open up your wall maker pen, go to tools and click on configure. Configure the SFX and we are gonna change the sound to click. And we need to make sure it is interrupt current sound and turn off synced. We turn off sync so that when someone is clicking it, not everyone in the room will hear their clicks. <laughs> Let's try it out. As you can see, every time I click it, a cool sound effect goes with it. You made your first clicker great job. What if you want to make it so that text appears instead of sub subtitles? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, so to make it show text instead of subtitles, we are going to have to delete a few things. We are going to have to go into our watch, into tools, and click on delete. And we are going to have to delete the player show subtitle. We are going to go back into watch, click on palette, and search for... We're going to go search for a text. Make sure it is the regular one, not the version one. And we can place it right there. We're going to go back into tools and into connect. And we're going to connect the result from the string concat to text on the text. And we're going to connect the execution on the integer variable to the set text on text. And then we're going to wire set text from the text to play on the SFX. As you can see, every time I click it, it is going up. Hey everyone, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please be sure to leave a comment below. Also leave a comment if you have any questions or need assistance with this. I'll answer it as soon as I can. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next video.